Hey there guys, welcome back, hope you're all doing well, this is Shaitan here from Devil Cube, and welcome back to a brand new tutorial. Before we get on with the tutorial, I just want to mention that you guys might be hearing some background noises like I think you probably are hearing right now, because I'm not usually recording at the place where I usually record, I'm, you know, in a different place. Um, so without, you know, further ado, let's get on with the tutorial, and in this video, we're going to be learning to create uh, a very unique 3D effect text, uh, more of an eSports style text effect. It's one of my favorites actually uh, and I thought you know I make a tutorial on it and teach you guys um, so as you can see on the screen the thumbnail that's what we're gonna be creating I'm gonna be using the letter F to teach you guys uh, so let's get started so here I am in illustrating a blank document by 1000 by 1000 pixels and uh, I just created a new background I'm gonna create a new layer now and we're gonna start working on this so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create a text and type the letter F and we are going to go ahead and probably set this to, I don't know, 500, is that big enough? Okay. And I'm using the font Nexa Bold. You guys can choose whatever you want. I'm going to go to Object and choose Expand and click OK. So now we have, you know, this letter F. I'm going to make a little bit of changes to it just to, you know, give it a cool, you know, nice effect. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, come over here and I'm going to select all these points. Okay, I'm gonna press P on my keyboard to get the pen tool and press minus and you're gonna get this minus whoops uh, the minus uh, sign under the pen tool and I'm just gonna click over here and uh, that's gonna get rid of that and I'm gonna get rid of these points as well so everything is uniform we have something that looks like this and uh, what I'm gonna do now is gonna grab the rectangular tool and just create a rectangle around this so it kind of snaps exactly and we're gonna go ahead and just Hold down shift and you're gonna bring this down like so. And I'm gonna go select these two points. That is this one and this one and just move them over to the side so we have, you know, like this. So the FA, you know, kind of looks like this. A little bit more to enhance this. I'm gonna select this point right down and just bring it down. So it becomes like a more sharper F. And I think this should pretty much do. And maybe I'm gonna select uh, these points on the side and, you know, just drag them out. Uh, you know, it, it, it's not that, you know, it doesn't have to be that. I'm just teaching you guys how to do it. Okay, so once we have this, I'm actually going to go ahead and select all of this and uh, set this to a white color so we can actually see what's happening here. And I think this is too thick, so I'm going to go select all of this, go to Object, Path, uh, Offset Path, and, you know, we're going to just reduce this to negative 10. So it's, you know, less thin. I'm going to select all these. Uh, we're gonna select this one, delete, and I don't want to delete. Oops. Right click, ungroup, select this, and delete. So now we have a little bit more thinner version of the text. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Alright, so now let's get into the fun stuff. So I'm gonna press P on my keyboard to get the pen tool, and I'm gonna go ahead and create, uh, you know, a half of each part. So it's kind of difficult to explain, but let's see. Come click over here, um, hold down shift so we get a straight path. Come over here, hold down shift, click over here, then we can click on this, this, and this. There we go. And once we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and just change this color to a different color so we can actually differentiate. All right, that's looking good. I'm gonna do the same thing over here by pressing P. Make sure you don't select anything. So press P, click over here and uh, over here that's going to show the center uh, like so all right and uh, we can close this up and cool let me select this one and i'm going to choose the same color and boom there we go now the next thing we want to do is we're going to select both of these two different parts and i'm going to go to object path offset path and here i'm going to click on preview and we're gonna get this offset. So I'm gonna set the offset to probably around minus seven. And I'm gonna just go ahead and click on OK. And once we do that, I'm gonna choose a red color. So probably a bright red color. Let's actually go for a dark color, uh, like so. Click on OK. And I'm gonna delete this, the gray ones which we had. Just delete that. And I'm gonna select these two. And I'm gonna come here to the color and choose a bright red. All right. So now you have something that looks like this. Now this is one of the options. So I'm gonna select all of this and just move them over to the side over here. Make a copy of this and pull it out here. 
I'm gonna actually reverse it so what I actually mean I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna delete this one and I'm gonna delete this one and this time I'm gonna go create uh, you know the same thing over here so I'm gonna click on over here uh, come over here okay, maybe that's too much hold on shift over here so gonna click over here click here all right and uh, and close this up let's do the same thing over here as well so make sure you're not selecting anything click oops there we go that's our point anchor point and uh, I think that's good enough and uh, there we go all right so I'm gonna select this and choose the same color as this and we're good so do the same thing select these two I'm gonna go to object path offset path and uh, set this to minus seven and we can select the outer ones and just delete them and now we have something this looks like. I think this looks which you know like way much better it looks more cooler uh, if you guys want to give it a little bit more effect you can choose the anchor points and just move them so let's actually do that press a to get the direct selection tool and you can select these points as well and just move it over to the side I'm gonna have something that looks like this um, maybe you want to manually move this one all right like so and select like this one and one like so and all these points and you can just drag them inside and I think this looks like you know like much better it's like all this and move this one with more inside yeah I don't want to do I want I don't want this one. I'm just gonna delete that delete all this and uh, cool there we go uh, now to make this more look even more cooler what we can do is we can select all of this and we can make a copy by pressing ctrl C ctrl F and I'm going to click on this which says the merge so everything becomes a single object I'm going to go to object path offset path and this time I'm going to give it an offset of 20 click on preview probably 30 30 let's go with 40 actually 40 is pretty good and then click on ok let's merge it again and hold ctrl shift and the back square key which is going to move it to the back so right click and choose uh, send to back and we can select this one oops let's ungroup this ungroup and we can select delete this one and delete this one and then move all this to the back and we have something that looks like uh this we can actually change the color of this so let's go and set this to a pure black if pure black looks good oh it does look it looks insane select this go to object path offset path again and this time set it give it an offset of 20 click on ok and let's just center this and we're going to change this to a white color right and wow that looks super cool maybe I think it's too much so let's actually delete this let's go to object path offset path oops let's delete that object path oh what happened to the path right object path uh, offset path and set this to 10 probably uh, I'm not quite sure if that works out or we can set it to 15 I think 15 should do yeah and then we're gonna go change this to a white color and uh, boom there we go we can select all this right click group and you know just shrink this down and uh, there you go they're looking really good actually I, I can't I kind of I'm kind of liking it uh, maybe we can go ahead and select all these points and just move them out yeah this looks like a much cooler F and also we can go let's go and choose join group we can move this over to the side and uh, let's make a copy of this by holding on alt and uh, here and let's change the colors of this so select these two I'm gonna come here and choose a yellow color all right and wow this looks also really cool select these two and come over here and let's choose a darker yellow color yeah more of a gold I uh, you know it looks really cool I love it so uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, so this is how we create a cool esports type 3D text effect. Really, have no idea what to call it. Uh, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget for you to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to mention in the comment section down below or contact me on my social media links. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So till then, take care and bye bye.